Hi, I promised this video for those wanting an insight into the development formula. Apologies for the delay, been having computer problems. Firstly, there's my email address. If you want to write to me, that's the place to go. Secondly, this material is copyrighted. In the event that you wish to reproduce it in any way, please obtain my written consent. And finally, and most important, trading or any other trade, sorry, trading currencies or any other financial instruments involve substantial risk. There's always a potential for loss. If you're unsure whether or not trading is for you, please obtain the advice of an independent certified financial advisor. I'm not one, and this material is for educational purposes only. So with that, let's uh, have a look at the development formula. Okay, what we're trying to do with the development formula is to identify when a breakout is likely to be true or whether it may be false. We're looking for high probability breakouts. And what you've got in front of you is the red lines, which represent the 18 period barrel swing, the monthly trend. And the first thing you have to ask yourself is, do I have a confirmed sideways uh, price activity? Now, what you need for that is an XABC. So for example, um, this high here on the 10th of February, maybe A, followed by a B down here, um, and then followed by a C up here, and then followed by the market coming down again. So that's X is always a low for an uptrend. Uh, X is always a high for a downtrend. So X, A, B, C. And then once you get that D, you've got your confirmed sideways pattern. So in this particular case, you've got a confirmed sideways pattern. And what you want to do is identify the buying climax. Now, in this particular case, we could uh, treat, sorry, let's move this. That's actually the buying climax here. There's a buying climax here. Put that in the wrong place, my apologies. You have a buying climax. There's the automatic reaction. We had a secondary test, which was probably a, we could be treated as an upthrust, except that it occurred too soon, suggesting that the market would go sideways. Sub, the market does go sideways and subsequently breaks out. So the first thing I want to know is whether or not that has accepted above the primary uh, uh, buy uh, sell zone. So we're going to draw the retracement levels on this. And you can see that in this particular case, we did get a close above the maximum extension. If we get acceptance above the maximum extension, we go back to this idea of an acceptance bar. That's something that you really need to look at. If we get an acceptance above the maximum extension, then the suggestion is we won't come back into congestion, that the market will keep on heading north. In addition, if it's a very, very strong move, then we may be forming a V-top. So those are the two things that you have to be careful with when the market seems to accept above the maximum extension. In this case, it didn't. So it's come back into congestion. So I want to know whether or not this particular sideways pattern has completed the development formula. And the way to do that is firstly identify the number of bars in the up, up, up until the buying climax. In this case, it was 97 bars. Then we look at the retracement, which was uh, 26.28. And then we draw what is known as a linear regression line. You get that in Optima. You go to statistics. And then you look for your linear regression line, linear regression, and then you draw that. You start that from the Sorry, that should come over here. Apologies. I was saying you draw a linear regression line starting from the buying climb, in this case, the buying climax from the climax, and you draw it to the last uh, extreme, in this case, the swing high here. Then you count the number of hits on that 
linear regression line, in this case, 69, and you want to fill in the spreadsheet. So let's see. Yep, there it is. So now I'm going to just fill in number of bars in the linear regression is uh, 69. So let's put that in. And the number of hits on the IPM, that's the directional move, the red line before it makes a correction prior to the sideways pattern beginning. So you're going back to the point at which the, the, the low, in this case, the extreme, the low that started the up move, you don't want to see any corrections that constitutes a buying climax coming market comes down that's automatic reaction and so on as far as the Wyckoff model is concerned and so we've got uh, how many bars 97 bars and our retracement level is 0.2628 now what should happen if this is going to be a breakout with a high probability that the market is going to not return into congestion, that has to be negative. If it's, or oh, prefer, sorry, has to be zero, preferably negative. If it's positive like here, then the, the suggestion is that you may get the market going back inside congestion. So what this is saying, therefore, this development formula is there's a high probability that the market will come back into congestion. Now, we need to see that the FTP that occurred just before the breakout occurred in this area, well, way inside the congestion zone. So that being the case, there's a high probability that the market will come down. And then let me just draw that in for you. So what, oops, what we're looking for is for this to go back in here and retest this zone. There's a high probability that it'll occur. It doesn't mean it will occur, just a high probability that it would occur. If this had been a negative, when we, if we had a negative number here rather than 79, then the probability that the market comes back into congestion is very remote. So that's how we use the development formula. Hopefully it'll be of some use to your trading. Thanks guys, bye-bye.